So today we're talking about environment settings and how we can set things up so that as our application flows through its development lifecycle, e.g. from test to production, we can have different settings. So here I've got a development version running on the left that has a development value and a different value for the telephone number. Over on the right, I've got a staging or a, a user acceptance testing version that tells me that it's the test version and equally has a different telephone number. So that's what we're going to look at today. Good morning, good afternoon or good evening, whenever it is that I find you and welcome along to the channel. So today we are talking about environment settings. So settings that will change as we move our application through its development life cycle. So we've done this kind of thing before with Nuxt 2. So let's just dig into this and see where we can get to. So the first thing we need is a new file in here for our environment settings. So let's go and create an environment settings JS. And in here we can just have some example settings. So we've got some global settings and we've got three environments essentially. We've got a development environment, which is obviously our local one, a staging environment, which is where we might do some acceptance testing, and then finally a production environment. And just to illustrate the point, we've got different values being set for each of those environments. So that's our environment settings. So how do we pull those into Nuxt? We need our Nuxt config. And in here, before I do that, let's just go back. I need to actually export those out. So in our Nuxt config, we can then import those in. So like any other import, we can add an import and point it at environment settings and we can import our global settings. Then what we also normally do for a Nuxt project or a node project is we set up a constant variable in our Nuxt config and we default this to the node environment setting or we default it to development. So by default, Nuxt will populate this node M for us. And when we do our generate, that would be production. And when we do our npm run dev, that will be development. So that gives us a, a variable that we can use inside our Nuxt config that represents the environment that we're using. So what we can then do is in our package JSON, we can go and add a couple of extra scripts. So we've got this npm run dev, we can have an npm run staging. And I've called it staging node env because we're changing the node environment variable to staging. So let's just do that and do an npm run and staging node env. And that's the interesting line that I wanted to show here is that even though we're changing our node environment to staging, Nuxt is helpfully or unhelpfully changing it back to development to avoid unintended behavior. So it gives us a problem in the fact that we can't use the node M environment variable to change our environment that we want to indicate to Nuxt that we that we actually want to use because Nuxt is always when we when we run this going to reset it back to development. So so we can't do that. That's a problem. So we need to change our approach slightly for Nuxt 3 to work around this. So let's change that from staging node M to staging and let's just create an M variable instead and set that to staging. And while we're in here, we'll create the production one as well. So we're no longer going to change the node M so that we don't upset Nuxt. We're going to set a new environment variable called M. So with that, we can then come over here and rather than node M, we're just going to do process M dot M. So we now set that up to whatever the value is of that environment variable. And the downside of that is that we also then need to go and change our GitHub job that deploys our application for us. And we need to add in the actual environment there so that it builds the correct thing. And the way that we can do that with a GitHub action is in this part here, we can add an env property. 
into the YAML and we can set an environment variable the same as we are doing from our package JSON. We set an environment variable called env, but for our real deployment, we set it to production, which is obviously what we want to do when we're deploying into our Azure application. So that will fix that up for us so that the env environment variable is there for our GitHub action as well. So now we can come back over to our Nuxt config. And now that we've got this app env, we can actually create some site settings that take advantage of that app env and pull that from our environment settings. So for instance, we can add a telephone setting that pulls from our global settings using the app env variable and pulls the telephone setting. So if we're in development, this will come from our development setting. If we're running our GitHub action, this will be set to production. So it will pull our production telephone setting. And I'm also going to set another one called site environment, just so that we can see this actually working. So that's populated our public runtime config with a couple of properties. So now if I come over to the footer component, for instance, I can go and add into the TypeScript to actually get hold of the public area of the runtime config using the, the global Nuxt composable and call that config. And that means that once I've got this, I can then use this inside of the template up here. So I can come over to somewhere up here. And if the config site environment is populated, then we show it and I can change the contact details then from being a hard coded telephone number to pulling that from the settings. So I can change that to an anchor tag that's a telephone type tag so that if this is on a mobile device, they can click on it and it will automatically ask them if they want to phone that number. But we pull this from the config telephone value. And we'll also go and do likewise in the header just to prove we can share this globally. So I can replace that hard coded value with the telephone number as well. So it's globally available across my site, which we covered in a previous video. So about sharing data across our site. So now that we've got all of that in place, we've got our development server up and running. So we can go over to our Nuxt app, go to our main page and we can see that we get dev down here and that over here I've got my telephone number and up the top I've also got my telephone number. So just to prove that that really is working, let's stop the site and run up our staging environment instead and let's refresh this and there we can see Again, that we've got our environment being set to test, which is what we put in our environment settings file. And our phone number has been set accordingly to the value from the environment settings in both places, the header and the footer. So we've got environment settings that we can now change from environment to environment as our application flows through its development lifecycle. And when we hit production, we'll have some nice configuration exactly as we want it. So that's it for this video. That's how you can do that with Nuxt 3. Please do like and subscribe if you're finding this useful, and I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.